Please join me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome to the November 25th, 2019 Selectman's Meeting. First, we will start with public comment. Anyone wishing public comment? Seeing none, we'll move back to the board. Mrs. Wolseley? Uh, no, nothing at no. the moment. Or for announcements at community for calendar? No. Did you have any announcements, Mrs. Wolseley? No, thank no. you. No. Regina? No. I just wanted to, I was reading the planning board minutes and there wasn't anyone for the public input at during the master plan session and I actually spoke with uh, Ann Connaby today. So if residents have time, there is an online, all you have to do, I did it today, fill out the survey, it takes literally five minutes. It's publicinput.com forward slash HMPS1. And she's also going to be uh, letting us know, I guess they're going to be talking about maybe people that can't do the computer, having places set up where you can come in and fill out the survey in person. So I just wanted to put that message out. That's all I have. Jim? Uh, I was going to say the same thing since, mm -hmm. I'm, on, since I'm on that committee. I don't think I they've was... set the um, time, so have they for no, that? No, no, yeah. but that's fine. But also, uh, next next Sunday is the uh, the 7th is the Christmas parade in town, so everybody should uh, pay Saturday. attention to that. Saturday. 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 <laughs> it is the seventh. I guess I can't well, get any of the last any, any correct. <clears throat> Rusty. Yeah, two things. One is I wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. It's yeah. coming up this week. Okay. Uh, two, um, uh, we had a, a lady that was down the beach that was uh, a longtime summer resident. I mean, her mm. family goes back into the 40s and 50s here, and her name was Julia Leonard. Julie Leonard. Julie worked down to the beach uh, chamber office. She was actually the manager of that office for the better than 20 years. Uh, she passed away this week. Uh, mm -hmm. It was sudden. Um, and uh, there's a lot of people that are going to come back next summer, coming to the beach, and they're going to look to see her, and she's not going to be yeah. here. So uh, I just want to let people know that Julie has passed away, and uh, I'd like to send her our sympathies. So. Yeah. Julie, um, Julie was just a great person. She was a friend to many people, and um, they'll be, I'm sure, it's going to be tough to replace her because she ran it like she owned it. Absolutely. And, uh, one thing I didn't realize is uh, she was married at one time to one of our police chiefs, uh, Leonard, which was back in the... Oh, Cal Leonard. Cal Leonard. He was yeah. a former state trooper, and yep. then he became... Back in the uh, 60s and yep. early 70s. Yeah. And so, but her family has owned property on the beach since the 20s and 30s. And uh, she's from Chicopee, so they used to come up here every summer, and that's that's how she uh, she knew this area. And uh, uh, I guess uh, back when uh, the Ashworth finally went wet, she was one of the first <laughs> you know, uh, waitresses there. She was Hampton's best example of a Playboy bunny. <laughs> that's what she saw. And yeah. she was uh, she just had. Super personality, and uh, she's deeply going to be missed by a lot of people on Hampton Beach. Yeah, so. she was a great person, and uh, so we'll have to give our sympathy to uh, her granddaughter, Catherine, who Catherine. also has done a lot for uh, different events here. Absolutely. Um, next, we have the consent agenda. Any uh, motions? I'll make a motion to accept the consent agenda. I'll, I'll second. We are, for the public benefit, we ought to say Trinity Church's use of the sidewalk in front of the lane block for the Christmas parade and a letter of no objection for the service of alcohol for a high street. Ventures, LLC, 320 Lafayette Road. So they know what we're... Do we have a second? I'm seconding, okay. yes. Thank you. All those in favor, it's unanimous. Next, we have appointments. Christy, please join us at the table. Christy is probably totally bored with us at this point. <laughs> I know my kids were like, wait, weren't you there last week? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, but this is my real week. So um, I'm here with the October financials. They've been out for a couple of weeks now. So you all should have copies and they are posted on um, the town's website, as they always are. 
And just to make a side comment, that survey that Regina was talking about at the beginning is on the town's website as well. There's a link there. So if yeah, people you just didn't have to catch stroll down. Yeah, if people didn't it's... catch the website that she gave, they can find it there. Yeah. Um, so we're almost through the year. The target mm -hmm. for October <coughs> was 83.34%. When you review the revenue, the 2019 revenue is higher than 18 by 408000 $303. The total revenue for the month of October was $665,822. Of that, motor vehicles came in at $300,355. Interest on taxes at $6,602. Building permits at $24,241. We had a FEMA Disaster, the one from last March for 83805 that was for um, repairs to the Church Street pipe. State water pollution at $61,015. Departmental income at $55,824. And parking lots at $4,163. I think we'll have a little bit more parking lot money in November, but I think it's pretty much, I, I know they're closed now. Yeah. Um, Interest on deposits at 9085 District court fines at 4669 and the real estate trust at $109,023. On the expense side, we were 79.7% spent or under budget by $916,420. In October of 18, we were over budget by $362,172. Um, as reported in September, we are under, in September we were under budget by 1.2 million, so the gap has closed from uh, September to October. And as you can see, it does fluctuate from year to year, just depending on the weather and whatever we're hit with during the year. Um, just to give an example of some upcoming expenses, which will be on the November financials, all of our holiday pay and career incentives will be paid out um, this week. That totals $232,994. Um, so that will affect the amount that we are under budget. Let's see, Public Works currently has many projects going on, which will impact these figures as well. I know they are the culvert on High Street, some of that money will be coming from their budget and other things that are going on there. As I shared last month, uh, many of the wage line, lines are continuing to run under target. General government section is at 82.08%. The police department is at 76.34%. Fire department is at 81.62%. Building department is at 76.24%. Public works is at 74.94%. Parks and Recreation is at 74.9%, and the library is at 86.58%. Wow. Warren articles can be reviewed on page 18. Last month I was asked by a resident about reports on projects that were passed at town meeting. I would refer anyone interested in knowing more about the Warren articles passed in March to always look to page 18 of 20 in the financials because they're all labeled there, their activity, and if they have any open purchase orders. Oh, okay. The only item to note here is that the $110,000 Warren article 44 in regards to conservation land, that will be returned to the unassigned fund balance, only 55,000 of it, because that's all that was being raised from taxation. I believe Fred had distributed a memo in regards to the fact that that sale, that property or land had f fallen through. So mm -hmm. that 55,000 will be return to fund balance at the end of this year. Fund 24, the recreation fund, has a balance of $240,540. Fund 25, cable, has a balance of $178,233. Fund 26, for private detail, has a balance of $279,723. And the EMS fund has a balance of $418,000. $508, and the wastewater system development charges, the fees collected in 2019, total $66,354, and the balance in the account is $248,470. Um, I know that I believe at least one, maybe two projects have been improved in November 
um, by the board, and I, this was from October, so I don't have those numbers handy, but that will mm -hmm. affect that balance there. So that is all I have. Questions? Rusty, would you like to start? Uh, no, I just, a uh, uh, comment, uh, looking at the, the, uh, the, the wages, Yes. I mean, it's good to see that our departments are down. We know we've asked them to keep them pretty tight, especially with the default budget and stuff like that. But you, you look at this, and you just got to remember, it's a, all it takes is one snowstorm. Correct. One That's why it's weather. <laughs> one, one major fire, one <clears throat> major police incident. And those are all, and, and so we have to, have to make sure that there is money there to cover that so we don't go over our budget. So a lot of these times, some, some money isn't spent till the end of the year to make yep. sure that we can do that. Correct. So, um, I mean, I appreciate the job you do. You, you really are always on top of our numbers. Uh, but I also appreciate our department heads that, that work very close to try to keep their budgets as close as possible, knowing the fact that they, they have to come in that, that budget. So um, good job. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Jim? Yeah, you have cable committee 178,233. Has the money that we approved for the school come out of that yet? The 60,000 didn't we vote on a couple of I think of weeks? it was 90 and I don't know if it was out before these financials were done. I know it has been paid out. Okay. I just don't know if it was in October or November. Oh, November. Okay. But it has been paid out, yes. Okay. But it might uh, be coming off of uh, that figure. Okay. Thank you very much. Mhm. Mm yeah, because it looks like so far we had given SAU 255000 which I believe was for the studio earlier in the year. And yeah, then I think yeah. it was eighty nine or something that was approved by um, the board a couple weeks yeah. ago, which is coming out in November, or went out in November. You mean the franchise fees out of Mary the Louise? Yeah. Any questions? Is it talking about the money? No, I'm talking about the money that the board approved from the franchise fees. Yes, franchise from, fees. from fund 25 to be sent to SAU 90. Right. Yes. Great job. Thank you. Well, that was the $96,000. Oh, was that on these reports? Yeah, that um, was. I had actually previously asked you that question. And I knew you had asked. I just couldn't remember <laughs> when it went through. Was that in October? Yeah, because of maintenance. Because I Sorry. think it's in October. Because maintenance okay. went up from like it was like 6,000 prior month, and now it's up to like 100. Three thousand. Oh, okay. so I think that um, is in there, and you already incorporated. I had a question on the conservation land warrant article, but you've already incorporated that. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And yes, I agree that your reports are excellent every month. Yeah. And I agree that the department heads do a good job. And um, also, I guess that's all I have. Great report. Okay. Yeah, you're good from the beginning awesome. to the end. I was here this morning. You were right on your toes, first thing. And first thing, right early, are. right? Yeah. Right Thank early. you very much for all that you do. Yep, have a good Thanksgiving, you guys. Thank Chairman, you. She, you never, you too. she never sleeps. Mm -hmm. No, I, th I thought she told me she slept here. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like that sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> really. She's such an asset. Um, <clears throat> the uh, town manager's report. Mr. Yes. Chairman, members of the board, uh, the last day to submit petitions to amend the zoning ordinance is December 11, 2019. Petitions when, must be presented to the selectman's office. <coughs> Petition for town meeting warrant articles can be submitted to the selectman's office until January 14, 2020. Property owners who may be eligible for elderly veterans or other exemptions allowed by law must file by April 15, 2020. Property owners in the Hampton Beach Precinct who wish to file for the exemption from the entertainment portion of taxes for the precinct must do so by April 15, 2020, and all those forms for both the town and the precinct are available in the town office. The last date to file an application for abatement of property taxes is March 1, 2020. Hmm. Also, Mr. Chairman, vehicle registrations are only available on Tuesday and Wednesday of this week because of the holiday and the office being closed on Friday. Uh, we have uh, received some material which I'm going to put up on the bulletin boards upstairs from the new SOS Recovery Community Organization, which has just opened at, uh, I think it's number one, uh, yes. Lafayette Road. And uh, please pay attention to these, read them. And, and if you have a friend in need or someone you know that is in need, um, even a family member, please refer them because it's very important. They provide great services. Um, we also have an alert for high tide uh -huh. from tonight, Monday, November 25th, and continuing through Thursday, late evening, November 28th. 
There will be high tides expected to be greater than 10 feet. Please take the necessary precautions uh, to move your vehicles and to, uh, to take care of trash and recycling containers so they will not float away in the evening um, rush to get water into, the, into your property. So very important. Our, our parking lots are open for those folks who need to be there. That's an important function. We don't want your car flooded or ruined. <laughs> That's it, sir. Questions for the town manager's report. Mrs. Walsley? Yeah, Fred, on the SOS, may I, should, should I call Mary now over at SOS? Because I have her card and, and you gave you one of her cards. Uh, and tell her that they'll be, what, in the... Uh, we'll be posting them on the bulletin board upstairs. Post, what about in the, when you walk in in the front? I mean, a lot of people get attention or... Yep. We allow them to come in and put all their material yeah. for handouts on the yeah. counter. We have to allow every other business in town to do okay. that. Okay, so that... So that would make room for anybody. So it will be displayed in the second floor of the town office? It will be displayed on the main floor. On the main floor. The bulletin board out front as you come in the door. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, that's what, okay. That's what All right, so I can give her a call and tell her that. Oh, sure, Sorry. absolutely. And she should provide us, does she need to provide us with more no, printouts? No, I have all I need. I've got all of her handouts here. Excellent, because that was very good. It was, uh, it was very interesting to go over. Regina? I'm good for the town manager. Uh, Jim? Good. Rusty? All set. Thank you. Thank you, Fred. For your Thank report. you, sir. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, moving on to old business. Oh. Number um, one is to vote to accept and expend $185,800 from the Coastal R Restoration Grant. It's a mouthful, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, really. Um, <laughs> and unfortunately, we have a very expert person here tonight who can tell us all about this if you want to delve into it. But uh, we had appropriated funds for flood control and flood control management uh, at, as we have been doing for the last couple of years. And Public Works filed for a uh, grant from the Coastal Restoration Program and we, we were accepted and they have sent us a check for $185,800. Uh, you had previously voted to allow us to do that. This is just the reason it's on the agenda today is so people will know it so you're voting it just to inform them because we already have permission to accept it and expend it from you. Mm -hmm. So we need a motion to need accept. a motion to a second and a second to, um, to also move second. All those in favor, unanimous. Thank you to Public Works for working on that. Do, do thank do, you. Do we want just to explain what it'll go towards? Well, well, we already have, but we can do it again. Do you want to join us, Jen? Just, people might want to. We can actually talk about it more when we talk about the Warren. Okay. 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 All right. Yeah. Um. Uh, any other old business? I just want to say something real quick. I just want to thank uh, two of our major departments this weekend. We had, a, well, this week we had a fire on, what was it, Thursday? It was a fire down at, uh, down on Ashworth Ave. So thanks for the fire oh, department yeah. for a yes. great job. And we yes. had an incident at the Our Lady of Immaculate Medal on Sunday. And yeah. I wanted to uh, thank our police department. Both departments are always there for us, as is Public Works. So I just wanted to uh, thank you, those the, the departments on that. Moving on to new business. Number one, Hampton Falls proposal regarding stickers for Household Hazardous Waste Day for their residents. Mr. Welch? I had asked the director to uh, give us his position on this. Uh, this is kind of an interesting and uh, different type of operation than we have had in the past. Uh, and it requires a lot of additional paperwork and, and paper handling. So. Uh, I'll ask the gentleman who's, who would get stuck with it if you uh, <laughs> actually voted it. So, but isn't this part of the warrant article? No, it's not. No. This is a different. This okay. is something di different that they want. Different. Okay. In the past, uh, when it came to the household hazardous waste day, we have extended an invitation to a number of communities to um, participate. Mm -hmm. um, not all of them have accepted. This is one of the communities that hasn't accepted in the past, but now wants to. We don't actually issue stickers on for Household Hazardous Waste Day. We have them fill out a form uh, while they're in line, in a, basically a community survey. Survey, and it tells us where they're from, their name, their address, where they're from. We collect those, and then we end up billing the yeah. community for whomever they come from. 
So for instance, um, I think, I don't recall this last one, but the one before that, like four cars came from Newcastle. Cost us like $38 a car. I think we sent them a bill. Um, the, it's a base fee of like $500 and then $38 a car, or at least it used to be. Um, it's covered one within our budget, but we also get a grant holding a household well, yeah, well, household hazardous waste day, easy for me to say. <laughs> it's easy uh, to say. So we do get a grant, so this is in part underwritten by the state. So oh. uh, it's just to uh, recognize them and allow those residents to come in. So. And I believe that Hampton Falls, the way that they want to do it is they want to charge their residents who want to attend up front so thus them having the proof that they've paid okay. and uh, That's one way to had um, <clears throat> permission to come to our event mm -hmm. we haven't refused people at the household hazardous waste in part because we don't want to see the waste end up on the side of the road if they were to go home and say well needs I have other things to do today and I want to go grocery shopping yeah. I'm not carrying this half can of old gasoline around I don't want to find it around town we accept it so yeah just to, it's uh, less than uh, what it would cost me to have to handle it on the side of the road yeah. so. so does this work work out for you by them doing this ticket? yes mm -hmm. yep. well, you need a vote it, it right. require it would re yes I think it's an outside it's a service for those who don't live within town it needs your acquiescence your agreement to allow that to happen now this is the twice a year yes. collection. Yes. So we have a motion. Yes. I and also, a motion I'll we second. Do. Yep. We have a first, we have a second. I have a question. And we still have Newcastle as well participating. Yes, in those are the two that we re we ask if they would yeah. okay. I'd like to There's participate. There's no restrictions on Newcastle. You'll okay. pay whatever. Yep. Yeah, no, I'm definitely with you. All those in favor? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Unanimous. <clears throat> and now, um, we're going to be talking about the Warren article, so you're going to be right up here with us. All yours. <laughs> and I've got some other uh, items when we're through with the Warren article. Okay, so um, these are, are we working from this list here, Fred? We don't yes, have. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah, you can. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, then let's just take them one at a time. Okay. okay. First, we, we have article for transfer of duties of the cemetery trust trustees to the town manager. Recommendation is to vote to support this article. Mr. Welch. Mr. Chairman, the trustees have requested uh, this action on behalf of the on behalf of the cemetery trustees. Uh, it's simply a delegation of the duties, eliminating the trustees, putting them under the town manager by statute. It's the only place they can go other than to the trustees. Uh, and there's no reason not to accept it. They would like us to do that and to place it in the warrant uh, with the unanimous vote of the Board of Selectmen so that it will go through. The trustees have all voted 3-0 to do this. Yep. So is this a discussion um, or should we vote tonight to accept these as Warren articles? You can do like either. That's one that we're going to definitely do. So should we just go ahead and... Uh, if you're in favor of a warrant article, I, I would suspect you go ahead and authorize us to put it forward to the budget committee. This one doesn't go to budget because there's no cost mm -hmm. in, in, the, in the article, uh, but it would sort of shorten the list down of what we've got to do as we, we run along. I'll, I'll make the motion if you want to look at Yeah, I think we should do that. I mean, yeah. this is definitely one we if know is going to yeah. go there. I'll make the motion. I'll second. It is a good idea. All those in favor? Unanimous. So we have number one there. Number two, an article what? for sports betting recommended what? recommend approval proceeds after payouts and costs go to school funding. Mr. Chairman, what list do you have? Because I have my list of November 20, so I don't know what, what number. I wrote you a letter of recommendation on warrant articles. Oh, God. So you should <laughs> have it. Um, so, ton of uh, stuff. Mr. Welch, where are we going from here? We do have um, people that are willing to work with the town, but um, I believe that we here at the board decided this should be a uh, town-sponsored Warren article. 
Yes, we did uh, initially, and certainly you can recant that if you wish. I mean, that's, that's something you don't have to do. You can force it to be done by petition. Um, this article would allow uh, the state to license these operations within the town. There are restrictions on who may do it and why they can do it and what finances they have to have up front, uh, what regulations they have to obey and so forth. Uh, in fact, the regulations are quite comprehensive. I read, mm -hmm. started to read through them and I said, well, uh, <laughs> it sounds like I'm reading the entire set of statutes for the state of New Hampshire. So I stopped at one point. Uh, the money is, the money that's <clears throat> not used as uh, proceeds uh, to pay off the bets or to run the operation uh, goes into the school fund, which I think is a good place for it to go. Yeah. Okay. And the thing is, today this was voted on by the uh, Executive Council, and it is definitely going to happen starting in January. So, uh, you know, we need <coughs> this to go forward uh, if we expect it to happen here in Hampton. We have um, Anthony from the casino, uh, whatever, what's it called? Ocean Gaming. Ocean, Ocean Gaming. Gaming. Um, that is um, willing to come in and uh, work in any way that he can or um, help bring people in so that we can further understand that. He has people that are willing to come in from, um, that are in charge of the machines so that they can explain it. And he's willing to work with us to try to make this a positive thing for, uh, you know, for Hampton, if Hampton decides to accept this. If you decide to put this on the warrant, there has to be a public hearing before the town meeting. So I would think that that would be the place on TV where we would get them, everybody in here to explain how this works and what it's going to do for the community and the schools. So when should we do that? Uh, set by statute, so it'll be sometime in uh, late January, early February. But we should have a warrant article before that. We should, now would be the time to, to start working on that. We have this... This warrant article, the way it's worded, is required in the statute. Mm -hmm. We don't have a choice about how we put it in. It's, it's there. Uh, I think what has to happen, though, is that they have to come in and explain it. Absolutely. Okay. That's why we should, we may have to hold more than one hearing. Yeah, and that's why Anthony's quite willing to do that, and he's been trying to get this ball rolling for a while. And um, so I think that uh, after we get this going tonight and approve it to be a warrant article, um, you know, we can have him get in touch with you or whatever you recommend. And we'll set up a schedule in accordance with the statute for the public hearing, probably probably a couple. Mm -hmm. Because I think it's not just one thing that we need to go well, through. Well, it's a good idea. It just uh, brings more attention, too. Well, and people will understand it better, I think, if it's explained a couple of times. So mm -hmm. uh, that would be a good thing. Uh, and then the citizens have to determine whether or not it's held in this town, since this is local option only. Right. The mm -hmm. state may allow it to happen but it's only if the town votes it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's why we have to move forward. So do we um, need a motion to? Wait, wait, wait. Well, we have Mrs. Wilsley's been waving her hand okay. over I'm for trying a to couple get, minutes. Yeah. So, uh, okay, it's your turn now. What, is there a problem if this is a petition warrant article? I, I am not. The uh, board has already voted that we were going to have a, spa, a, a town sponsored warrant article. Does anyone want to make a motion? I make to a motion that it? we accept this warrant article to move it forward. Second. All those okay, in favor? Just, can we have the I'm discussion? Yeah. yeah. Um, Could. We, we, accept, we, we say yes, local option. Yes. Then the state still is only going to license 10, 10 places. 10 places, That's right? That's correct. So they still have to go to the state. That is correct. Okay, but we're just we're just giving the local option right. for everybody in Hampton. Yeah, to that apply has the, uh, ability. Yeah. Well, to uh, they don't have to be the one that's a standalone. There are six standalone um, uh, groups that have already been approved, but by having it, uh, we're willing to accept it here in Hampton. That opens it for everybody in Hampton to become an agent. As I understand it, it's it's kind of like Keno. We voted Keno yeah, the other right. the last year, the year before last. It's exactly the same sort of situation. Exactly. You have a place in Hampton. You need to petition the state of New Hampshire because the town has accepted this statute. You need to petition the state and provide the documentation information required, and then you may be licensed. Yeah, okay. they'll have like a machine, just like what those Keno machines are. Now, though, that's not the way Keno's done in all the other states, but it may be some states. It's out, uh, in Massachusetts, they have people instead of machines. 
Here they have machines. This, from what I understand, is going to have machines. And that's what um, Anthony is uh, willing to bring the people in so that he can explain it so that okay. people, are, everybody understands. Yep. Mrs. Wolseley. I still am not comfortable with the town uh, putting this type of an article in. I think well, it should Well, the board be. here has already I, voted. So if you want to make a motion to, uh, to do what you'd like to do, I'm, now's your time. Well, I would move. I doubt that I'm going to get any support, but I would we move that we, we have a motion. We have a motion. Shouldn't we vote on that to, first? Well, uh, I think that she has a different motion, okay. actually. So why don't we just let her do okay. hers? And then we can do the other one. Is that okay with you, Regina? That's fine. Yeah. I don't think it's appropriate for a community to put this article in. I think it should be petitioned. I don't okay, doubt make, for a minute that, that, there, motion, that there would Wesley. be support from the public, but I just don't think it's appropriate for us. Um, well, I will move that we uh, will be happy to accept a private petition article on the sports betting. Is there a second? Seeing none, we'll go back to Regina's motion. Uh, yeah, I have a discussion. I have also talked with Anthony and uh, someone that represents Anthony, and we, I didn't, we talked about it as a board, and the board agreed that the board was going to sponsor it because I think it's easier for the people that want this to happen to have the board sponsor it. We're going to have public hearings, so if anyone has any concerns about this, exactly. that is going to be the time to come in and find out whether or not, or relay your concerns on whether or not you think it's something good or bad for Hampton. So I think the faster we move this forward so we can get to those public hearings, the better. And I agree. So you made your motion. Jim, did you second it? Rusty did. Rusty did. All those in favor, unanimous, that will no, be a warrant. No, or, or no, one not against. Unanimous. I'm sorry. I'm opposed. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, number three, we have an article for capital reserve fund for uh, fighter. Firefighter turnout gear. Oh, yeah. firefighter. Uh, I will. And mine says fighter town gear. It? <laughs> <laughs> I will so uh, move. Recommend that. approval with funding from unassigned fund balance. I'll second. Since we. We uh, have one uh, motion to approve. I'll second. second. All those in favor? You know, we started the fund last year, so I certainly hope we are supporting it. Number. Well, we we're. Uh, we great. Yeah, this isn't mm -hmm. about uh, what we're, how we're going to vote on this. These are so that we're going to go forward with these. Number four is article to replace fire prevention officer's vehicle. Recommend approval. I'll so move the vote forward. I'll second. All those in favor? Wait, um, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Really, it doesn't mention what's going to happen to the current vehicle. Says replace and equip. I notice in Almost the like um, uh, public works article they say then the uh, existing vehicle or the old vehicle will be traded in or sold. Yeah, in other have, words, we, we don't have, want old stuff sitting <coughs> around. We have no intention of keeping the vehicle. But, but it does depend on whether or not the people we buy the vehicle from is willing to accept it as a trade in. If but, not, we'll but sell we it can put option. trade in or... If you want to put trade in, in tell me. I yeah. think it would... Well, we, we haven't done that on the fire we, articles before. I, I, yes, I, I think we're just voting now, Mrs. Wolseley, to okay. go for the, further with these, and then we're going to uh, fine-tune them. So this is just for us to continue to uh, want to have these amazing the foreign articles. So we had, do we have a first, and do we have a second? Well, you were the first. I was the first. I was the second. Second. All those in favor for this to go forward? Right. Unanimous. I mean, that vehicle's. And you know, oh, we're not writing. 15, 18 years, old, yeah. years old. 17 years old. Not I exactly. I just don't new. want to see them sitting in the lot, right? No, and they, but yeah. they, they're going to dispose of me either through yeah, there's trade no in people or. people for but here I like to see it in writing. Well, he's not here for you to ask any questions to tonight. I made, uh, I made a note for it. Number five <laughs> is an article for Road Improvement <coughs> Capital Reserve Fund. Um, would you like to say something about that? Yes. yes. Um, it's, this has been a fund for, I would say, the last eight years now. Yeah. Six years. And um, it's not something that the department uh, abuses. As a matter of fact, uh, 
the one and only time we've used what it accumulated was on the Lafayette Road project, mm -hmm. and we had to put it out to bid, and we had to come back to get your uh, approval to uh, withdraw the money from that fund. So I think from a uh, planning perspective and a um, forward thinking perspective, if you will, um, it makes sense to continue this at 300000 I'll make a motion that we second. move it forward. Yeah. Have discussion. We have a first and second. Yeah. Oh. How much is in the balance as of now, do you know? I want to say two elections worth. Six hundred thousand so dollars. Yeah. It'll be at the end of this December. I know Christie's no more yeah. in the habit of moving it into there the last week. So this will put nine this <coughs> will make it nine hundred thousand. Yeah, after this vote, right. Uh, end of twenty twenty would be nine hundred thousand. Okay. This article's and, been and in effect since nineteen ninety eight. Yeah. And we Maybe. can use okay. it, but we need the so social roads. All those in favor of this going forward yeah. is unanimous. Number six is an article for replacement of public works equipment. Recommend uh, approval with funding from the unassigned fund balance. Would you like to uh, go with that too, Chris? I'll defer to Jennifer because she's uh, authored uh, <laughs> some revisions to this so okay. um, I figure out daily which ones are working and which ones aren't and how this uh, changes and we call it trash can car bingo um, so this one is for the purchase of two three-quarter ton trucks uh, they would replace uh, vehicles 29 and 11 um, there is just a we realized afterwards um, those are trucks with plows we'd be getting the plows with them um, that additional one pickup truck with plow, uh, that unfortunately was a leftover. It is two three-quarter ton trucks. We realized that this afternoon. That was my bad completely. Um, one utility hot box, ours right now is the one that we use for paving. The heating element is just mm -hmm. out. The yeah. repairs on it aren't worth it anymore. Uh, and then the add to um, what wasn't originally in my CIP for this year but became uh, part of it is that our loader um, mm -hmm. Unit 73, uh, the repairs for it are enormous. Uh, and its age uh, just says, well, it's time to, uh, to do it again. So this includes the purchase of a 926 Caterpillar uh, loader. Um, all of those together, it is for the 303000 So it's a total of three pickups or two? It is two three-quarter ton pickups. Right. So, because then it says... Right, that's one. where I made the mistake strike, because it said strike, that strike out one pickup truck. I just wanted to make truck. sure that we had yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, that is my error when I was going through the CIP. Um, at one point there were three, but when we needed the loader, and this is what I was talking about yep. earlier, changing by the okay. minute. Mrs. Wolsey. And, and I like what, that you've included replaced vehicles to be traded in mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. deemed to be prudent by the Public Works Director, Town Manager, and Board of Selectmen. Once again, you know how I feel about vehicles rotting out in the yard. So. Right. This is not an expansion of our fleet at all. Right. It's, it's just replacement. But we're not going to have old junks sitting out Correct. there. Correct. So not, do I we like have I'll make a motion first, move I'll second. second. A second. Yeah. All those in favor for this to go forward? is all unanimous. Um, I wanted to ask you before I forget, Chris, how many years have you worked here in Hampton? Uh, <laughs> I just, uh, June was the uh, eighth year. Yeah, because someone went on and on about you've worked here for 31 years. And I said, <laughs> no, I can't remember when we Sometimes hired Sometimes it feels us. that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's Groundhog Day. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, no, so just, it's, eight. I was pretty sure I remembered yeah. uh, that you <laughs> remember hiring you. Um, okay, number seven is article for side-loading trash truck. Recommend approval. Else? Chris, you want to? Again on this one, um, if you remember, it's two years ago now, um, we had a warrant article to replace two of them. It yep. takes almost a year to get them, and we traded in all three. The reason for trading in all three at the time was, um, one, we'd get some money for it, but secondly, the um, repairs on these were averaging about between twenty dollars and $25,000 a year. And this had the older engine with the... Um, I'll just suffice to say, yeah, it would have cost us more to keep it than to trade it in at that time. So um, during this past summer, of course, we operated with a uh, lease one for yeah, a period of 13 weeks, uh, around 27000 
knowing that it takes another full year to get this type of truck, uh, that's why we thought this would be the year to step in. Um, we'll still have to lease something this summer, but um, we do need it. This isn't uh, coming from Canada? This is a, a same situation. It's a, a Mac, Mac tra chassis. It does go up to Labrie in Canada. They mount the functional equipment to it. It comes back across the border. <laughs> we have, no, I won't say we have no issues, but working with Mac and Labrie is smooth okay. in comparison to working with other vendors. This <laughs> is not the- You chewed me right up. No, no, no. I, I, I kind of know who you're thinking, but yeah, uh, we, we love we love Mac. We love Labrie. Yes. Uh, they stay in okay. touch with us, et cetera, et cetera. So is Labrie from there? Canada. Canada. Canada, Canada. Yeah. right. Yeah, because <clears throat> I don't know. I'm not absolutely positive this is correct, but I'm pretty sure that this is correct. The guy that owns the Mac truck distributorship lives in Hampton. He has a summer place. Yes, yes. he has yeah. multiple yeah. places. Up on Boar's yes. Head. Yeah, he has a yeah. place here. Yes. No. Not that that has anything to no. do with it, but no. so that you can't order things from his um, business. We we can order the we of course we order the chassis the Through the, the cab engine framework from Mac. It's uh, uh, built in Pennsylvania. Um, that that has been seamless, and so we're essentially dealing with through McDivitt. We're dealing with Mac USA. Yeah, that's his name, with. I believe, right? Yeah, it's yeah. Jack Pink yeah. 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 Right. Yeah, every, he um, says, everyone says he's a great guy. Yes, I've met him once. He's a very nice yeah. uh, gentleman. And um, so, yeah, dealing with them is seamless. Um, they literally have already put in a placeholder for yeah. these trucks in the okay. process. They, they make, uh, I've heard uh, the numbers, 138 trucks per day come off the, off the, the line almost seven days a week, and um, but they can barely keep up with the orders. So when you decide you want to do something like this with Mac, the place dealership out of Manchester has placeholder positions. Uh -huh. They've put one of the their placeholder positions, this particular truck. And um, they have another 12 weeks to firm it or confirm it. In other words, by the time we move through the uh, town meeting process, if this gets approved, they firm mm -hmm. it up with, still holds at the same place. Mm -hmm. Well, that's interesting, thank you. Yep. Um, so, uh, do we have an article for the motion for this? Yeah. I have, so, a I have a question, I have a question. Yeah, Regina. Um, so, the idea, so what you're thinking is, next summer we'll lease the truck again, and we then would we'll have, have to, this third right. truck. It won't make it here right. by May. Okay. Thirtieth. Yeah. All right. And Thank Jim, you. do we end up with tariff because it's the body's being done in Canada? You know, I don't know that, but um, we have obtained pricing from McDivitt, and I'm sure if that was in there, is is part <coughs> of what Bree has to consign with or, or deal with, mm -hmm. that it's it's within this proposal. Yep. The proposal. Yep. And it, is there any thought of is this diesel? Or gas. It is a diesel. diesel. Is there any thought of a natural gas? I will ask. I will ask. Because there's a lot, a lot of, a lot of towns and stuff going to natural gas for their. Okay. Mm. That's a good question. Because I do know they make natural gas max. As a matter of fact, uh, waste management uses a lot of them nationally. Cool. In other areas. So do we have yeah. a motion? So I'll moved. I'll second. A first and a second. All those in favor of this going forward, it's unanimous. Okay, now we have the article for hazarded waste collection. I think we just had a discussion about this, and do we have a motion for this to go forward? I'll we'll so move. I'll yes. second. Oh, should we add Hampton Falls to this motion while it's there? Good idea. Yeah, because it says Newcastle. And it yeah. says to permit the town of Newcastle, so should it say yeah. to permit the town of Newcastle and well, Hampton mm -hmm. Falls? And I think we're still working on the wording, aren't we, Mr. Welch? We are, but yeah. we will we will certainly add that if they yeah. if they accept the proposal. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. They did ask for it, so. All right. Yeah. Excellent. All those in favor of this going forward is unanimous. Number nine is article for intersection sidewalk or traffic light improvements Can I phase one. Interrupt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My my compadre to my right. <laughs> uh -oh. I, I asked a question. 
Um, I asked her when I was supposed to bring up the good news about Unit 96, and she said, well, you're supposed to do it then. Um, Unit 96, and, and this goes, if I, if, if you're, uh, leisure or pleasure. Can I go back to the yeah. sure. Mac truck? Okay. Thank you. Um, last week, um, it was uh, through an inspection process. Um, our lead mechanic determined that Unit 96 has some real major structural problems with the uh, body. This is a 2007 um, rear loader, rear load. Um, refuse truck that we it has a 16 yard body on it for just for numbers um, so we took it to White's welding uh, for like two thousand dollars we can get all the structural problems uh, corrected on it as he was driving it back from White's welding today uh -oh. uh, so we lost the the, we yeah. lost the rear end in the oh, truck oh, it's good. probably a five thousand dollar hit the fact that it had a structural problem last week made us pick up the phone and say to Mac, okay, what if it needs to be two trucks? What is the cost to have a rear load 16 yard truck? And there again, probably a Libri body, but in this case it would just be a rear loaded with a, we used, still use the tippers on the back end. We need both kinds of trucks because um, the sidearm truck is, I won't say it's, it's difficult to use it on a lot of the smaller narrower beach streets we still use uh, it uh, yeah. all the side streets off of uh, brown ave ashworth ave etc um, also we use the rear loaders for leaf pickup yeah. tre uh, christmas tree collection etc etc it just goes on and on um, so we are wondering if you would want to entertain adding a second truck to that worn article you knowing gotta, knowing what we know, we do have a price. If you got to do it, you got to do it. I mean. But it, but it, it it we dislike um, doing this at the last minute. We had no intentions yeah. of doing this a week and a half ago. We just got the numbers Friday. We were right. able to get them to Fred to at least say, okay, this is yeah. the ballpark yeah. that we're looking at. So how much is the other truck? So what this else? second truck. Uh, Mac load reuse. Read your it's numbers that you wrote down. Thank you. Oh, okay. Is this a lease purchase too? It can be. Um, so it would use be this. So piggybacked on the side loading trash truck. Correct. Article. Okay. The, the total cost is a two hundred thirty-seven and ninety dollars. That's the the principal. If you were to buy the thing outright, um, if you elect to go the five-year lease option, it is a fifty thousand eight hundred and eighty-six dollars and seventy-four cents. This will come through Canada too? Again, it would take over a year to get this truck. Okay. So basically, the way the article would need to write, you'd need to add 254450 as the total because it's the lease. Um, you'd need to add that to the uh, arm mm -hmm. loader. And then this first payment is 50890 that you'd need to add uh, to the 74800 that is mm. there. So. Um, those are the numbers we're dealing with from both proposals. So how about we bring this one back next time and have it written the combined, yeah. Combine them. Okay. I take a look at it. Take a look at it. I think we need it. Oh, yeah. I think we need it and I, I think we uh, so we should have it. So you have gotta do it. Yeah, you gotta do it, but I would rather make sure it was all Yeah, I have a comment too. worded correctly. <laughs> yeah. Um, I like to just ask Public Works a couple questions mm -hmm. while they're here. So, would you? I, I agree that it's pu definitely probably needed. Now, this goes in. Oh, yeah. This is to help you pick up all the trash that the town of Hampton is currently. Right? This is up. our current load. Right. That's everything right. yeah. that you pick up that you've been picking up for however many years it's been. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, I agree that you need it. Does it make sense to the both of you that leasing is the way to go? Yes, because I think. I can speak to you. Yeah. It. It. It eases the burden instead of a one-time lump sum boom yes. hitting the tax rate. The truck is used for over five years, probably seven to ten years. Why not spread those payments out? Yeah. And um, it's at a very, very fair, I think, a fair 
uh, rate. There again, it would go through the Kansas State Bank, the one that we've had all the other lease payments through. Mm. Um, yeah. I, Are that's, you that's still fixing the other truck with the, that you lost the front end? Yeah, I'm still really? going to have to because I still have to use it for another year. Right. Yeah, that's what but I But if it's already lost, it's uh, the rear end once, and I can't tell you the... I mean, I could look back, and I know the... The maintenance alone is probably going to be equal to what we paid oh, for the yeah. truck mm -hmm. when oh, we yeah. originally we bought it in 07. We yeah. just did structural work. So we will consider this when you come okay. back and combine the warrant. Yeah, articles. can we have a, a, a fairly lengthy description of what everything's going on, like like what the cost would be to buy it outright as yep. opposed to... We'll get you multiple articles. Yeah. I think so, I yeah. will explain the different options. Yeah, thank you. I think it's it's, it's great <coughs> to do the five-year lease. I think uh, you just said that this truck is a 2007, so we've gotten right. 12 years out of it already. Mm -hmm. So uh -huh. I think, like you said, instead of making those spikes all the time of okay. buying different vehicles, if you can level that out a little bit, I think it helps everybody to... Plan. Now, at the end, do you get to buy the truck out if you want? It is a, it is bought it is a lease it purchase. Is bought out. So it's, it's a, a lease, lease to own. It just automatically lease right. to own. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because uh, I know that I have always leased my cars, and um, I probably leased seven or eight of them, and only one time did I want to buy it. And after I leased it for uh, three years, and then paid a pretty good price for it, I still felt that I was way ahead because I love the car. It's two years later now, and I still love it, and it still seems like it's almost new. But it's not every car I leased was that way. Yeah. And they're, they're the same exact model. This one is special. So, you know, that was my experience. Mrs. Wilson? Yes. When these vehicles take a beating, is it more sensible to lease the truck, a truck, whatever it is, for five years, and then roll it into another brand new truck with another five year lease instead of killing yourselves with the repair costs. Would it be more sensible for us to lease and, and have the poor truck beaten up for five years and then roll into a new five year lease? Because I hate to see these the numbers, repair costs. The numbers are showing um, somewhere around the seventh year, we're getting a declining return. Mm -hmm. Our, our uh, repair numbers start to accelerate yeah. beyond that. I'd like to see a five year. Well, she's basically saying exactly what I just said. Can you actually do the other type of lease? We, I think we that's what you need to compare. We could schedule with them that every, you know, take the whole, pretty much most of the fleet, the, at least the big numbers, and get them in a revolving, yes. they certainly would have more trade in value. Yes. Yeah, because you can, you know, it, for me, I still had to pay what I, at first I thought, well, that's a lot, but then I went around and looked, it wasn't really a lot, it still was about 10% less than if I went out and bought the car again. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and again, it worked out for me, but. And Mac well, has such confidence in their fleet that they actually, if you ask for it in writing, they'll give you a buy down. In other words, this is what the truck will be worth five years out, seven years out. So you can look at your lease payments and then look at the, you know, we are talking out at that age, it would be, you know, forty to fifty thousand dollars versus if we run them till like what that 07 truck is, I'll be surprised if it's worth five to ten. Yeah. So if we basically if we did the five year lease purchase and then kept them for two years after that, which mm. would You'd have the two years without the payment, and then plan on trading everything in at about that seven-year mark. That is the ideal. That is the ideal. That is that's the, idea. the that perfect is the ideal way, way to do, do that, because you're getting a couple of years that you're not having to pay on it, but you're not going out that eight, nine, ten, eleven right. years where you got so much cost to repair it. Right. And you, you'll get, as you said, you'll get more for the trade-in if it's a seven-year-old truck than it is if it's a ten or twelve-year-old truck. I can ask uh, the leasing agent that we we're dealing with at Mac to. Show well, it sounds like you've gotten lemons before. Yes. <laughs> we did with the other line, the yeah. line that I don't want to mention. Yeah. Um, they, everybody else <laughs> elected to go with this DEF fluid, they call it, mm -hmm. diesel emissions fluid, mm -hmm. which is a separate tank. You, and it's, the engine sips it or uses it Weird. as it's going along mm -hmm. uh, to do emissions control. One particular vendor elected not to go that way. 
for a couple went, of years, and then that's right. They went down the path that well, yeah. we'll superheat the exhaust manifold. Ooh. It'll reburn in the man manifold. That's where Ooh. we're not doing that. Anymore. That's where we're. Yeah, they don't do that anymore anyway. No. They don't. That, that they brand. themselves decided that was right. not the way to go. Mm -hmm. It didn't work. We all owned the trucks, so I kind of left a sour taste in my mm -hmm. mouth. Right. So, so they'll come They're back with numbers all the different ways. With a, and yeah, their yeah, a lot more on, information and yeah. what yeah, they feel. Yeah, we can look at. So we'll yes. move on with that. Okay. Number Thank you. nine Listen. is article. Uh, what about the article of intersection sidewalk traffic light improvements? Did you want to talk about that? Uh, this high, one, high in milk. Yeah. Yes. This, this doesn't include the traffic lights off. Right. So what this includes, this comes off the Safe Routes to School mm -hmm. program that was done that called out the intersection at Mill and uh, High Street mm -hmm. has no way for pedestrians to get across. There's okay, no push button. Right. Uh, there's no really at grade um, landings it. at the ends of the sidewalks. What this article for is for is the push button lighting and to rework basically the landings at each corner. Yeah. It does not replace a whole new and entire signal uh, that's there. This is to get in pedestrian stuff and then maybe in a next step uh, replace a whole new signal. Well, the, um, the signal should take headlights in it. Once it's, it, once it will. It's so yes. this comes from the company that uh, works with all our other signal lights in town. Uh, the pricing in here right. is for the equipment uh, that's needed for the pedestrian heads. Um, walk, so you can don't upgrade. Walk. You can upgrade those lights to have the ped crossings. Yes. And the so you'll be putting walk. the ped crossings, and you'll be putting the mm. ADA, ADA detectable, detectable warning strips, warning concrete. Strips. There is some site work that has to be done. Obviously, there's some steep slopes on that north uh, east side. Um, so a little bit of wall action, uh, but that's what this includes. This is long overdue. This would be great. I'll make a motion that we uh, move forward with this one. Okay. Um, so we have a first and a second. All those in favor, unanimous. Next, we have an article to replace sewer and drainage, repave Lock Road two-year project, recommend approval. That's long overdue, too. Okay. Do you want to um, give us your input on that? Uh, this Warren article has been uh, around since I started here. So. Yeah. <laughs> and that's five years now. Yeah. Uh, it is long overdue. It is needed. It's one of the heavier travel crossroads uh, in town. The sewer needs to be done. The drainage needs to be improved. Uh, the two years is, again, that whole let's get the utilities in the ground, let it sit for a winter, come back and pave the entire street, win it, cut it up to high, uh, and, and have a complete road done. And that's what this is for. And this uh, is uh, on your high recommend list. This is on our high recommend this list. This is also part of the long-term CIP yeah. plan. Mm -hmm. That's what I meant. Yeah. 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 Do you, yeah. Are you making a motion? Well, first, uh, I will move that we put that forward. But my, our first home when we moved to Hampton was on Lock Road, and we had a septic tank in the, mm -hmm. in the backyard. So um, we're going modern. I love it. Okay, so we have a, a, a motion to accept. Is there a second one? I'll second, but I have a question. Mm -hmm. So we're seconding these to move them forward, so we're going to be seeing them again. Yeah, we're going to, and right. they'll be discussed in more detail. This is whether we should just continue, you know, so we can come up with a list of what we want to okay. work on. So all those in favor, unanimous. Uh, next, we have an article to reline clay pipe on various streets at the beach. Recommend to place on hold. May have to be decreased as project size due to the total funding required, the warrant, and the availability of unassigned um, fund balance. Mr. Welch, did you want to talk about this? or uh, Mr. Chairman, these are the streets that were not finished in the $12 million bond, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, which has caused some problems down the beach from time to time yeah. because people would like to have them done. Yeah. But we're talking over a million dollars. And to do all the other projects that we have on here, <coughs> my suggestion is we send it back to Public Works uh, for a cut down. How much can we do? Uh, What's possible? I mean, uh, can we do one street? 
and then uh, perhaps next year two, two more, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, this is a very ambitious plan. Harris, Fellows, Nudd, and Kentville Terrace. There's a lot of material in here, a lot of um, replacement that needs to go on. We are talking about relining as opposed to excavating everything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but this is still ambitious. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'd like to just send it back to Public Works for a retrofit, so to speak. Yeah. See if we can't get the cost down and do something a little bit more reasonable that can be done in a year. So this is something that we're going to be working on in the future, probably. Correct. Mrs. Wolseley? Yes, especially since you have the Route 1 project next year. Yes. You're going to be stretched thin. Okay. Uh, I, I agree that you need to do this, but I would like to see it scaled back a little. Like So no saying. one wants to make a motion that this oh. go for I just have a question. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you talk about relining. Is the problem now is it inflow? Right. Um, as much as eight years ago when I got here, the calculation showed that 60% of the overall flow into the plant was is groundwater. Yeah. Aquarian only sold or sells the town around 350 million gallons. Eight years ago, we treated 920. Mm. It, it's just simple math. Yeah. So 60% of all the flow is, is yeah. uh, you know, infiltration. Um, we are seeing improvements. For instance, the uh, force main replacement. Hmm. Um, the numbers will show out at the end of the year, but I, I would say we're down 10, 20 million gallons. Mm. You know, it's, it's, it's quite possible that's what the, the track's going to show. Um, the other, th and, and so all these projects, um, what they lead to is they forestall having to expand the capacity, mm -hmm. the, the overall size of the plant. Yeah. In other words, if we're, currently we're, we're able to serve 920 million gallons, if we can cut down on some of that infiltration, it gives the town capacity to grow. Yeah. This is the lining and replacing sewer pipes is probably one of the more cost-effective ways to keep the plant healthy and allow for uh, the town to grow. Without doing some of these types of projects, eventually we're going to bang into that 80% limit. That the state but puts there on. is a there are uh, clay pipes all over town. There's close to twenty million dollars worth of clay pipes if we had to dig mm -hmm. them up yeah. and replace them. Yeah, like I think what thing. brings this one to the forward is that uh, this these these people are in an area where everyone else received uh, this relief and they really should have gotten it too, right. but they weren't able to get it. So that's what the issue is here. Yeah, what I'd like to see when you come back mm -hmm. is, is, is the cost analysis of uh, if we don't do it, what it'll cost us, and if we do do it, what it'll cost us. If you can, I mean, that's a projection that might be difficult to do, but so that, so that you know, we, we can make a rational decision on it. I, I would agree. That's, that's probably yeah. a good way to look at it. What was the incentive for this particular article as Fred and I were having a discussion he says okay if you got 20 million dollars worth of sewer and it did a million a year how old will you be Chris when this is all done mm. oh I'll be 80 <laughs> okay uh, yeah. um, Jen might be retiring by then mm. <laughs> um, in other words it all so it all can't get it can't all get done by the dig it up method and rebuild the street like what lock road needs. right and I agree with your assessment. This was in the beach area. It probably gets, because it's, it gets inundated more regularly in very sandy soils, yeah. it probably has more infiltration. Yeah. In mm -hmm. other words, we'd get the greatest bang for our buck by lining these pipes down, be done with it. Yeah. It would then allow us to go on to other projects that mm -hmm. we do have to uh, dig up. And this has been kicked down the road for 16 years. So everybody else that lives in this area has already had this done. And this has been kicked down the road. It's come up every single year for 16 years. So this is how things move so slow in um, Hampton, and it's kind of disappointing, really. But, w Rusty? A couple of things. One, does this take into account for any future growth in those areas of those streets? It would because, um, for instance, if these are, in fact, clay pipes, or I know they're clay pipes, I shouldn't say it that way, one of the methods that's used is we'll actually pull something down through that'll burst a six-inch pipe, 
and expand it to an eight inch pipe, we'll put an eight inch liner inside of it. So we'll gain capacity in some instances, some areas. Um, some areas don't actually need the capacity. If we just stopped filling them up with groundwater, they'd have plenty of capacity. Uh, but we, with this method, you can um, burst the pipe, reline it to get it bigger. One of the best things about this is it could be done in the, the short fall window and the spring window, and it wouldn't require us to dig the streets up. Does it come to a point where it's too late to do this? I don't think it's ever too late to cut off infiltration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of the and biggest, to reline it. Yeah, right. one of the biggest things that has to happen, and Fred and Chris and I have talked about this, is that uh, just like in the conversation we'll have about Winnicott kind of Road, to get a true understanding, and we talked about this for the force main, of what you can do from lining or pipe bursting, they have to be inspected. So the cameras have to go through it. We have to do an overall condition assessment. I mean, it'd be the, you know, you have a cracked hard-boiled egg. Do you really want to just glue that all back together? That's different than having a piece missing. It's different than having, you know, some longitudinal cracks mm -hmm. across the thing. If you're, if you're missing, you know, whole sections, that, that may not be it. So the idea here is that we believe that these are candidates for lining from our past cameras. Uh, but the first thing we would do is go through, do the camera inspection, figure out what's the right way. Mm -hmm. Is it lining? Is it pipe bursting? Mm -hmm. And I just want to say that uh, the voters of Hampton did vote to do this work, and it wasn't done because they ran mm -hmm. out of money. So mm -hmm. the voters already have approved this exact Warren article. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Wolseley? Yes. Um, I'm assuming you're using the new plastic type pipe or what, uh, whatever you the, call that. The liner is actually, um, it's a cloth liner, but it's, it's, um, cloth? yeah, it's like a, it looks like a fire hose and it's impregnated with, um, soaked in, uh, an epoxy and they literally, you know, put in a balloon, a mouse, whatever you want to call it and they literally pull or, or push it through the line. They then inflate it, and it cures by, they put a, a series of LED lights down through it, and that a certain, it's the blue light portion or the black light portion oh of my. the LEDs, starts the chemical reaction in the resin, oh. and, it, and it hardens to like an epoxy. Oh my goodness. So you literally have got a pipe inside of what used to be your pipe. Yeah, but, I, but that expanding pipe is interesting. I wouldn't have thought of that. They can burst we, it. In the sandy soils, it, it works really easily. We're having some construction on Little River Road now, and I've been up nosying around and watching the men, and I noticed that when they were putting in the aquarium water line, they're using the plastic. Right. It's like a blue pipe. Blue for water. So right. I'm guessing yeah. that, that at least the new construction sites and stuff Oh, definitely. No, we we You're don't getting. even approve. Okay, Rusty, you have a question? Yeah, I was continuing on from when I started earlier. You know, and, and I, there are lots of areas down there that do need to be done, and yes, we had places that yeah. that were originally supposed to be done and, and weren't done. Yeah. Uh, but we yeah. also got to remember at some point we have other parts of town that don't have any sort. Yeah. This mm -hmm. is the only part that was not done. Yeah. Yeah. The well, other parts that weren't done, the people didn't want it done. Well, we have parts but this of town. was these people did want it. Done. Right, but I'm just yeah. stating the fact we got mm -hmm. other parts yeah. of town that well, would I mean, like sewer. People that do have want sewer done in other parts of town that don't yeah. have it. I think that's what yeah. Rusty's saying. Yeah, yeah. Right. but I mean, I right. think it's true. The people need to remember, though, yeah. that this has already been voted on, this, and people were expecting to have it done, right. and it just wasn't done because probably yeah. things just right. weren't done right. Uh, Regina, I have a comment. So. Maybe since this should have been done and we ran out of money and it hasn't been done, that it should come out of the unassigned fund balance. I don't know, but you know, we're having a discussion here, which is really good. I think if Public Works is comfortable, that it seems like you'll be able to get this done fairly quickly, right? Mm -hmm. Hmm. The underground camera system that you need, would you be using it to do something like this? We would to, let's say, pre qualify the streets, but for instance, if let's say Ted Berry company gets the contract they have their own camera system oh. they will literally clean camera and oh. then literally the next day in other words before it gets dirty again move to um, 
actually either burst, line, or whatever. Wow. So, so most of the companies I, have the this. camera equipment that we have it just in the one that you're going to see here. Uh, that is how we assess what's going on. Are there roots in someone's service? Is that why it's not working? Uh, what's going on? We have a blockage here. Uh, you're seeing that Warner <coughs> come up in here because okay. ours is no longer functioning, and that is um, a major tool not good, for yeah. our sewer and drain department. Mm -hmm. While we'll do preliminary assessment for this type of work, any of these companies are going to want their assessment, you know, where they're showing the depth, they're showing the length, they're measuring mm -hmm. how many Ys are coming in at different areas that right. they have to actually mechanically go up and cut in for each services. Uh, so a lot of these uh, companies there'll be a bigger picture of the camera work than what our camera will do. Oh, that's good. So, Regina, are you wanting to make a motion that it be considered no, I think for unassigned fund balance? No, I think that we should, yeah, I mean, we can consider that if well, you want, but. I it's either that or we back. consider coming. Uh, um, yeah. You know, uh, so we. But we have a lot of projects, you know, so we have a lot of projects in town that haven't gotten done hanging. yet. So it's, you yeah. know, one kind of road, and I know we're going to talk about it later, but. I mean, that, and the way you want to do it, I am totally fine with. But that's going to take money. Okay, well, this what about this particular money. article? This is going what to take money. What do you want money. to do about it? Do you well, want to I think the town needs to realize that we have a lot of sores in town that need work done to them, and we need to figure so out a way. So what do you want to make a motion now, or what are you wanting to do with this particular article? Nothing right now. Okay, so just bring it back and give us more information about it. We won't vote to do anything with that. No. Uh, one, one second. Yes. Fred, we've got a typo in that second line. It's not vitrified clay sewer pipe. It's yeah. you want clay. Okay, moving on to number 12 is the article to study the feasibility of improvements to the transfer station. Recommend approval funds from the unassigned fund balance. Chris? I'm hitting the wrong one. I mean, it's apparent that uh, with the work of the Solid Waste Committee um, that plant that was a facility that was designed in 94 and finally you know, I think came online 96 or 97 um, mm. the times are changing we, we've either got to expand the, the throughput capacity of the uh, transfer station or we've got to look for other ways to manage the waste that we are receiving be they through further segregation or uh, elimination or or whatever so um, <clears throat> this particular Warren article was drawn up I don't have all the answers mm -hmm. um, it was refreshing to work with someone like Craig Musselman who's in this literally the trash trench every single day mm -hmm. from the engineering side and, and, and get his more regional and worldly perspective on what the possible solutions are so we'd like the town to at least look into what's it going to take what are we um, what are we facing and um, how can the plant be expanded improved yeah I think the other thing that um, I've always known for a long time um, they don't really have a good break room at this transfer station mm -hmm. um, you know if you've uh, I won't use it <laughs> yeah, uh, bad, bad. <laughs> okay, let me ask Just Mr. Welch out. what yeah. he has to say about this. Mr. Welch? Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, bluntly, we've reached our capacity. Uh, we need to do something, and we need to do something in the relatively near future where you're going to be uh, you're going to be handling a mess because yeah. you cannot continue to increase the amount of trash you put through a transfer station that was built as long ago as this one uh, with set requirements and not end up with problems. So you need to study it to figure out what you need to do from a practical standpoint on how it operates and to try to figure out how we can save money in doing it. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Wolsey, you don't need I to keep move. waving at me because you'll be recognized when it's your I, turn. I will move to uh, put this on the warrant second. and for us to submit okay. We have a first, we have a second. Any discussion? Sense. I have Regina? a question, yeah. yeah. So is this article, this has nothing to do with the, what the trash committee is putting bringing toward us, right? Or is this sort of part of it? Not that it has nothing to do with it because the amount of trash and recycling that comes to the facility was obviously the whole point of that discussion. But this is a public works. But this is a public works yeah. layout, operations, building, uh, 
integrity, <laughs> stability, what can be done, what needs to be done, what safety things need to be. I mean, this, this is looking at the big picture. Okay. Okay. Well, it Good. seems to me, though, it's kind of uh, when we don't know what our trash policy is, how can we build to enhance it? That's what I mean. I, I'm ver so disappointed in what happened at the uh, uh, committee. I was not in favor of having that trash committee, and it's the biggest disappointment I've experienced in the 15 years I've been a selectman here in Hampton, what happened there. Mm -hmm. And I don't see how this can really be worked with until we have some better answers myself. Well, I don't see how any of this can be really be worked with until we get the bids back for trash uh, right. hauling. And yeah, and you know, that. there's a, there's a lot of issues here. I Again, I was hoping that the Warren articles we were going to be supporting and recommending to the people would have resulted from what happened at the uh, trash committee, which I think really was a farce, in my opinion. So we don't want to... Um, what do we want to do here? I, 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 I'd like to look at it again. I'd like them to... To, <clears throat> to bring back more information, okay. I think. Mrs. And, Wilson, you know, the, the issue is, as we all know, you produce less. Oh, People yeah. produce less trash. Yeah. You know, the same thing with, and with energy. What, yeah. Conserve much, don't use as much energy. I mean, everybody always whines about something. And they keep using throwaway stuff, and they keep using much more energy all the time. And they say, well, and that's why we needed to have some answers from this committee. Uh, yeah, I think it's a personal responsibility too. I yeah, love to start to step well, up. Well, the, the people plate. need to be led the right direction. That's yeah. where it starts. Yeah, home. Mrs. Wolseley. I think it's something that we need to do. We we keep putting stuff off, and this is old, and and it's. Is anyone going to second her motion, or I, do we want to just bring did, it back I, for I more information? You can bring it. Yeah, you know, I mean, I don't mind bringing it back, and and. Uh, okay. So then, please bring it back for more information. Um, next, we have the article. Well, I, can for, I just make a clarification yeah. on something? I don't. I don't necessarily need more information on this, but I do agree with what Rick's saying. How, it, and I am yeah. thinking about it on my own about yeah. how we don't have. You said that those are placeholder numbers, the budget numbers for uh, trash hauling yes, and things like that. Right. So it's like we're not looking at the whole picture right now, which. Right, there's other I, Warren articles coming to actually. Right, and we don't know what actual budget costs are going to be yet either. So. Mm -hmm. But this is not oh, the trash, the trash, the trash, the Warren article, the Warren article, no. article for the well, trash. Well, this is for right. the transfer of station improvements. Well, we need to know. I real understand what Rick's yeah. saying about how. Oh, I do, I do too. Oh, I, I, do don't, too. I, I think this is kind of to do it without knowing what we're going to really yeah. be working to. Mr. I think Mr. is Mr. premature. Chair? Yes. We stalled for years. The the uh, building down there that Public Works is in was in terrible condition the uh it we just let things go and let them go and let them go okay we're bringing this back for more information mrs Wilson. well i hope so well, because we just, we're moving on to number 13 now which is an article for dpw building modifications recommend approval funds from the unassigned fund balance i'm ready Where to make is, that motion second yeah. chris what's, did you want to say anything again? about that Public Works building modifications. Yeah. Um, well, it's for the main office, well, correct? The, the main. This is the, the main. This shed. is the main office. This is our. So air this would be two separate Warren yeah. articles. Right. Uh, one, for one, one, one for the yard and one for the office. So this is the one for the office. Correct. Correct. So uh, does someone want to make a motion for the I building? Rusty, I've made Very good. Rusty seconded. Yeah. All those in favor? Unanimous. Thank you. 14 is article to purchase a camera system for sewer and drain piping recommend approval. I'd like to ask, when was the last time we had, or how old is this? Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> old. Well, it's like a car that we keep replacing the wheels, the body, yeah. the lens. Because this is how I started as yeah. being selectman, was they used this at my right. house. I, I know... And that was Every year I've had, uh, you know, hey, Chris, we need a cable. It doesn't talk to itself anymore. It costs $750 every time we have to send it out to get repaired. Ooh. That's the shipping. Wow. Right. And what's the cost of a new one? Say, cost of a new one? 75000 75000 yeah. Is this, um, I would don't know if it's too early <laughs> to decide this or not, but is this possibly something that we could take out of this year's budget? 
Uh, well, we can, um, th that's what they're saying. Yeah, um, it's little enough. Uh, you know, we can consider it, but, uh, you know, I think we have to look at everything before we decide what's going to happen. So we can't I'm going to hold that one off piece. until we find out, we get a little bit closer to the, uh, a little bit closer to the What do you think of that, Mr. Walsh? Certainly do it that way. Uh, we also have uh, a fund that we take uh, sewer improvements out of if we need to, which has some okay. money in it. So we'll consider that as possible, something that will be done in advance. Mrs. Wolseley? I have a question for something that pairs up with this. We ended up with the mess on Mill Road with the leaking aquarium pipes. Is there any way for us to try to consult with the Aquarian and ask if they are using cameras in their water system. They've got, a lot of those pipes got to be really old. I wouldn't want to use the same camera. Yeah, okay, and that has no, nothing to do no, with what we're, just, well, that's I not what, that's under old business. Why don't you just bring it up under old business? That's a very good thing for you to bring up under old business. Right. So we're going to um, take uh, that this is going to come back and we're going to see what we can do with the funding before the uh, election. Okay. Article to replace one of the building department's pickup trucks. Recommended um, approval. I'll so move, and I will say that I like the way it says to be traded in or sold. I'll second. I like okay. that. My only my only concern is I don't believe Chevy makes a Colorado anymore. So. But also caution. Being well, that specific in exactly. Well, we we can work on the yeah, wording. Fred Chevy, Chevy, doing Chevy doing doesn't so produce it. <laughs> Colorado. So anymore. These Actually, are when we asked for the the quote, cool. they quoted a Colorado. Okay, yeah. well, so, so maybe they've discontinued. They it don't make them after yeah. nineteen. So okay, so we're um, <laughs> we're gonna. Do we want that to go forward? Yes. We have Mrs. Wolseley's first. Is second. Second. All I'm those in favor? That. Unanimous. Um, 16 is article for tree removal in the cemeteries recommended for approval from the cemetery funds. I will so move that. Second. Okay, all those in which, favor? Which cemetery are we talking about? Any of the town cemeteries. High cemetery. Street. Uh, High Street. High Street, but, mainly. High, High Street. Okay. Yeah, all those in favor? Unanimous. Number 17 is article to make improvement and replace infrastructure in the recreation areas. Recommended for approval, funding for the from the Recreation Infrastructure Special Revenue Fund. I'll still move that. It'll be 126.2. There's a there's been a change in it, but just a few hundred dollars. 126.200. Yeah. 126.200. Yes. So we have a first second. and a second. All those in favor, unanimous. Number 18 is an article to continue IT improvements townwide. Recommend approval funding from the unassigned fund balance. So Very moved. important. Um, yes. Yeah. All those in favor, unanimous. Uh, um, in the process of doing this, the system will be scanned for any type of intrusions, like porn or whatever. The whole system will be. Okay, we'll let that up to the people that are going to take okay. care of it. We do that on a regular basis. Yeah. Okay. Number 19, article to continue the electronic conversion of stored paper data, recommend approval funding from the unassigned so fund moved. balance. Second. All and those in favor? And Unanimous. This is a Fred, yeah, it's a continuation of what we've Correct. been doing. Yes. Do we have any idea how close we are to oh, catch? We're, we're a long ways away from the end of oh, this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, we, I've we take you for a walk out and back, and you can see the tons of paper out there that needs to be converted. Okay. Well, I wasn't sure, but it's, uh, it's the so article it's an to fund various yeah. public service agencies, which we have every year. Do we have a motion? I'll also move. A first and a second. All those in, um, in favor? Yeah. Unanimous. Um, number 21, article to authorize use of the police forfeiture special revenue fund. I'll, I'll so move. I'll second. All those, first and a second. All those in favor? That's a standard article. Is unanimous. Yeah. Okay. And number 22, article to change the Heritage Commission membership to bring it in compliance with the state statutes. Uh -huh. Mr. So Welch. Uh, I have a question on Mr. That. Welch. Mr. Chairman, this is the result of the article that was passed last year that required two selectmen and two planning board members. The statute says only one selectman and one planning board member. So Correct. this corrects it to that. Correct. Okay. Any questions? Anyone uh, making a motion? I'll make the motion. I'll second it. All those in favor? Okay. Unanimous. 
Number 23, article to discontinue the DPW Equipment Capital Reserve Fund, small balance to be deposited to the general fund to be used for the reduction of taxes. Also, Mr. Uh, Welch. Mr. Chairman, we haven't put money in this fund for quite a number of years. We, you, you authorized this year almost a complete withdrawal of what was left in the fund mm -hmm. to help public works in a particular matter. <coughs> so there's nothing in the fund or barely nothing in the fund and we're not replenishing it, so it should be discontinued. Good. Okay. I moved. In a second. second. All those in favor? Unanimous. Number 24, Good. article to design flood control infrastructure, a continuing program that started last year and is now ready to move forward into the design phase. Recommended approval, funding from the unassigned fund balance. Mr. Welch? I defer to Public Works. I defer to Jennifer. To Jennifer. I defer. I can't. Um, <laughs> so this is exactly what we are talking about earlier. The NIFL grant that we received that you guys just voted on before is the $185,000 that uh, is matched by the $185,000 that was appropriated between the two Warren articles in the 2019 uh, vote. What that has done is we have set our uh, consultants up. We have been doing monitoring of tide salinity, uh, those type of things. 185,000 that we'll get from the National Fish Wildlife, the NIFWA grant, we'll take those and give uh, recommendations. What's the best uh, four or five things that we can do? What are the costs? Are they feasible? This Warren article would then be the next step, which is design and permitting. So this is taking things through Army Corps, getting uh, wetlands permits for any of the work that we do either in the marsh areas. Uh, the estuary itself uh, at the ends of the Manchester Hobson Gentian uh, roadways. So this is all those roadways that we're looking at currently. Uh, why I see this one as as important as the one that started all of this is that if NIFWA has funding again next year, that funding for this, the design and permitting phase, uh, can be up to 200000 So that's where the dollar value comes in. So we'll have $400,000 to take things through design and permitting. Uh, so that's all the engineering costs, that's all the permitting fees, uh, that's multiple designs, uh, and from there it's construction. So it's the actual how do you take it from the paper and put it into the ground. Um, so this is where this Warren article is coming And there's a possibility there could be more grants and things like that in the future. Absolutely. Absolutely, and the way that this Warren article is worded, especially if you start looking from the fifth line down at the, from the bottom, basically the word construction is in there. There are going to be some things between now and construction, meaning very large projects, that can be done. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's adding some gate valves. Maybe it's adding uh, a different part of a storm drain system. Some of this funding could be used for that uh, because we've always said all along, and I keep saying it, it's not one solution. It's mm -hmm. multiple solutions that get implemented mm -hmm. to make a better project. So um, this, while it's intended for design and permitting, uh, there is wording in here that would allow some small construction projects if the funding permits it. Yeah, the, um, you know, a good example, I think, for this is like the $375,000 that they got to work on doing something about Ocean Boulevard, which is, you know, we talked about it and talked about it and still it's going to go right on into perpetuity, I think. <laughs> but at least something's happening, and maybe that's the way this will work, too. So this is, this is good. Mrs. Wolseley? Yes. Um, first of all, Fred, we've got a couple. In the second line, right under Hampton, it should say moving forward flood control design. I think and is superfluous in there. Yeah, the word and they're going to work minute, on wait later. A minute, Mrs. Wait a minute. Mostly, we're not working wait on the word now. And then when you drop down on the right, uh, I think it's the fifth line or right below Seabrook, those has a J in it. Okay, we're not working on the wording well, right now. We're I, working I, on, does someone want to bring that. this forward? <laughs> do we have a motion? No, no, we have no, a motion. No, no, no. We have a second. I haven't had a does, chance to comment. I just brought... We I, are not commenting on the wording of it. All right, the wording is all set. I'm not okay. worried about that. What I want to say is this. Several years ago, the Conservation Commission... Uh, and Jay Dina was pretty active in this. He had friends up at the airport, and he'd uh, they'd go up in the plane. 
we need to be maintaining a file showing after the big storms the flooding at the beach and along the coast. I think that would help us tremendously going okay, forward. That's probably another good thing for you to bring up under old business, because we're bringing this up. Do we want to go forward with this? Well, you're talking article? about Do you want to control. make a motion? You're talking about We, have, we already control. have a first and a second. I'm All getting, those in I'm favor getting, of bringing this forward. We're talking about flood All control those, design. Are you voting for or against, Mrs. Walsley? Well, I would like to have a reasonable conversation. This is not the time to do that. You can do it under old business. You can bring it up again. We're not talking about that now. Well, we are. Because okay, we have four, four, and one against, Mrs. Wilson. I'm not against. Then and you're we four. Need, we, we have need, unanimous bid here. We need Thank to you, be Mrs. Wilson. Number 24 is article to design flood. We or we've already done that. Number 25 is article to increase the elderly exemptions. Also this moved. is a continuation of the current program to increase the exemption limits to account for the revaluation of property that was just completed. I'll second Mary Louise's Thank motion. You. And Fred, you want to discuss this? This, we're trying to keep pace with the revaluations that we do <laughs> so the elderly will not be hurt by those revaluations. Okay. I'd like to say comments on yes. this one, please. Yes, yeah, so I just wanted to note for the public, so for 65 years, now I've had a lot of feedback on this since day one as a selectman, so I'm just gonna go through some things right now and read some information from the Warren article. For a person 65 years of age up to 75 years, it's gonna be a $140,000 exemption. It's currently sits at 125. 75 to 80, it's gonna be 168,000 and it currently sits at 150,000. For a person 80 years of age or older, it's gonna be 221,000 and it currently sits at 178,000. Now, the part that I've received a lot of feedback on is the single amount and the married amount, which is at 38,000 and 58,000, and that's going to remain the same. Now, this year, we actually received a spreadsheet from the assessing office, and we have the towns. I'm just going to list the towns that are on here Derry, Durham, Exeter, Greenland, Hampton, Londonderry, Newcastle, Newfields, Newington, Newmarket, Northampton, Portsmouth, Rye, Seabrook, and Stratum. Now, I I'm not going to compare the tax rates to this, but I can tell you right now, Hampton's one of the lowest tax rates. The town portion of the rate is the lowest. And the average is 38000 So Hampton is right in line with what we give for our single, for our single elderly. And it's actually even more, more generous than what most of those other towns give. So I, want, I just want people to be aware of that that we do, you know, Hampton is trying to make it easier for the elderly to stay here in the town. And the town manager makes sure that he puts this warrant article in every time that there is a revaluation. Excellent. So, we do, do we do a first and a yeah, second? Yeah, we put a first and second. First and Absolutely. second. Hey, you have a first and second, Fred? I, I, I think it was, yeah. She yeah. first, I second. I made right. motion uh, and rest All those in favor, unanimous. Number 26 is article by petition to fund the Christmas parade. Um, a motion, we approve yeah. it. All those in favor, unanimous. Thank you very much. While we, we have a, our public yeah. works people here, yes. Uh, I had a question asked me or, um, earlier this week about um, the seawall at yes. Bicentennial Park. Yes. Asking if we were going to have another warrant article on for this year. Um, and I said I did not believe so. Um, however, I would ask. So that's one of the things I'm doing for that. And two, and uh, now we've we've had that repair to it that we did. What's your assessment now of that wall? <laughs> the wall that's there is is stable, especially with a revetment in front of it. But the problem that you have is it's three feet lower than the wall the state put up. Right? Yeah. So you get a. a Southeasterly storm uh, <laughs> with a you know the you know, top of the counter yeah it's it's going to push all that water along the seawall and when it gets to the weakest spot or in this case the lowest spot it's going to have the possibility to run over and that's one of the whole reasons for for the whole project is to make it three foot higher right so it matches the state and wall it also remember it's not embedded. Right. If it's you remember looking at those pictures, right, unlike right. a wall that would normally go down to bedrock or go down 
There's sheep piling. I mean, there there's cases where this wall is only in sand six inches. I just wanted. We we support bringing it forward, but the comment was made earlier when we were discussing. Uh, you have to look at all the, the all the whole menu of things that we need to get done. We'll dust off. We'd love to dust off the. the Are you wanting the to make a motion for that? No, I'm not no. wanting to make a motion. I just want people to realize that you know you got to prioritize. Yeah. Right. Sometimes with, within this board, yeah. Yeah. and we and we have to look at it. But I also that the wall is stable right now. If we had seen if we have seen any damage to the revetment moving or shifting uh -huh. this would be a total different conversation exactly that's what i want because to do we people. monitor it uh because after the january and march storms of 2018 yeah. uh we made some basic repairs because uh the fema money that was given uh for that damage we were able to you know fix yeah. the backside resecure it um we continue to monitor it we're not seeing um significant decline in its structural integrity and but it doesn't get better i mean that's yeah. the one thing that it was my only reason for doesn't bringing get this up because i want people to realize that we are keeping a head, uh, keeping a track you know well, on and it, top of it whether it's you know needs it, to be done or not we at least are right yeah oh it, it will always need to be done done right yeah. uh, maybe a way to 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 get this accomplished and it's not our call to decide how to fund it it would be to maybe possibly set up a capital reserve fund or a long-term funding mm -hmm. mechanism to get it done. For instance, you know, we've been successful yeah. with the 300000 each year for the uh, highway road improvement capital grant. Why not capital grant for this where you put away mm -hmm. something every year? Yeah. It, uh, it may ne it's certainly a $2 million. It's never going to get cheaper. Right. But, um, well, maybe that's least. what we should do is have you work with an idea and bring that back. Okay. Um, and um, while you are here, what are we going to do about uh, the, uh, what happened at the um, trash committee? What type I'm of I'm not part? on the committee. I can't. Well, the whole idea, when well, we decided to have a committee, and it was stated in the motion that there would be warrant articles that came out. The warrant articles won't happen until they have the bids open to find out what the expenses are going to be uh, in the trash December area. 5th. Oh. December 5th. December 5th, so, the bids are due back. Yeah. So that's something that you should bring us all the information because we have to decide what's going to happen here. I think that even if it's something as simple, are the people happy with the way it is now? Or do we just move, you know, which has happened before that people are happy. Yeah. Um, or do we want to change this? I don't think we can rely on a committee, and I don't see how we would ever want to do it again. Every committee I've ever seen here, frankly, has never worked. Never, including the trash recycling committee that we had the last time. It was a fiasco. And it just, all it did was cause fights here. They, nothing positive really ever happened from it, in my opinion. And I was hoping that it would, and maybe in the future, something of another committee of that type but as far as a committee that's going to influence what the Board of Selectmen has done, uh, we've done nothing but waste a whole year from what I can see. And I hope that we will come to some Warren article that will go to the voters. I think it's only fair to go to the voters. Well, I think we came up with some recommendations they had in there, but I think we want to wait till yeah. we hear about what... The what last discussion that I had with the, uh, Jamie Sullivan was that, yes, we would bring those Warren articles. Yep. Uh, I, I know I authored about five of them. And um, some of them are more critical depending upon what comes out of these bids. Mm -hmm. um, so that the idea was that we would bring forth not only right. the additional funding that we need, if we do need additional funding as part of a Warren article, because these are, again, multi-year contracts with mm -hmm. escalation clauses in them, and the voters need to approve those, is my understanding. And also at the same time, we would discuss the, there was like five Warren articles. Oh. So when is the first meeting after December 5th? So the 9th. The 9th. The 9th. Is there going to be enough time, <laughs> or should we go to the following meeting to have this put on the agenda? I think that if we're going to be here on the 9th to discuss the Warren articles you've asked us to come back with, mm -hmm. it would be in our best interest. The 9th is a special meeting. 
It is. It okay. is. It's not well, a regular meeting. Maybe we could continue it to be a meeting that it just had to be the special meeting plus the recycling issue. Yeah, you can put anything on your, the agenda, of course, I think it's a want. good idea myself. <clears throat> what does good. anyone else here think no, about it? I think it? it's a good idea. We'll get it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. actually not going to be here the 16th, so I would prefer that if we could do it on the 9th. So, well, we're having a yeah. discussion, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And right. the other thing I do want to bring up to you. Wait a minute. You'll prefer the 16th? No, the 9th, yeah. like but, you said. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but you're not going to be here? On the 16th, I'm not going to be oh, here. Oh, okay. Which is oh, the following I meeting. I, assume, no, I yeah. understand. Yeah, I think that we can at least lay it out on the 9th, maybe. So if we have, you know, some base Warren articles, we'll get them, obviously, through Fred uh, to all of you guys, hopefully, in your packets. The 5th is a Thursday. They wouldn't go out until end of day Friday, you know, likely mm -hmm. by yeah. email. So you could have them over the weekend just to look at them. Um, for my clarification, so the 9th is special meeting right the stuff that we talked about tonight when is when are you looking for that additional information when would that come back to you guys oh do you want to do that the, the ninth? The material the ninth the material that we're talking here tonight is going to be adjusted depending upon what happens with the solid waste bits we have two million dollars that we can commit from the unassigned fund balance to fund warrant articles yeah. If we go above that, yeah. we have a danger of having to borrow money to operate the town uh -oh. during the following year, yeah. which means we're going to have to have additional money put in the budget for that purpose. So we. So it may not be possible to have all those answers for. The well, money. some of these warrant articles may disappear. Mm. Yeah, uh, that's why we're kind of being a little fluid with it because you know we just have understand. to get a base going. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. And the and the, the trash warrant articles will be the base Plays because that's yeah. those have to be handled. So, and then we can deal with it on the 9th, see what happens, right. and then we'll work on it and mm -hmm. come up with a plan after that. So, thank you. I want to okay. ask other people, okay. though, if they have ideas for Warren articles. I do. Well, Regina? Do you have an idea? Could you, well, I'd like to backtrack for a minute with, with what Rusty said, because you went too fast for me there. I've had complaints and concerns from people, too, about the, uh, the uh, wall you know, at North Beach. Um, is this something that we can perpetuate with, uh, say, the Conservation Commission and kind of require that we have, I think, photographs showing after a major storm and showing where the water is coming in and what direction and all that? Well, let's do, that's this again is not the time to talk about that. We're well, going, we're talking about it. We, we, were, we are talking about, about warrant wall. articles. We're not talking about taking Rest, pictures. Rusty was talking about the wall. Okay. Well, they're okay. going to bring us back more information. That's what we just did. So when they bring us out more information, mm -hmm. we'll have okay. a discussion. Sounds now, good. Now, our next discussion here tonight, Regina, do you have ideas for other warrant articles? On a kind of road. <laughs> yeah. So, well, let's you here, give us more information. Well. Later. You know, the bond, obviously, the way you guys want to do it in sections, but I just really think that, you know, it would actually give the town of Hampton some hope to see part of that road getting done, even if it's a small section. Uh, that's one of the main reasons why I think that I wanted to try to push getting the camera in now so that you guys could have it, because I know <coughs> to the town manager, and he says you will definitely need that to do that project. So... You know, I would just, even if it's just, you know, a rough draft of what you think doing whatever first chunk would make the most sense to do, but I really, I mean, I've never seen, I've lived in this town pretty much my whole life, and I've never seen, besides the patching that you guys do every spring, mm -hmm. and I know you probably don't know what it's like underneath that road, but it's yeah. all the way from the wall all the way down to Tineos, I mean. Pretty it's much what waiting. you see on the top is what's underneath. It's kind of yeah. like what happened <laughs> out there on Exeter Road. Right. You know, it, yeah. It's, it's the same it's, story. It's kind of the that. same idea. I mean, yeah. so, you know, some background conversations. When a kind of road in itself in its entirety is too lengthy of a road to tackle as one project. Right. Oh, yeah. I also thought that cost wise, people would choke. So, um, the other thing is how much do you, you know, you get done in a construction season. How much can people tolerate? We, you know, we, you see the limit of uh, of what people can tolerate. How we work with Lafayette Road, so we've kind of got to do something along those lines, yeah. uh, break it into manageable chunks. And I think you uh, have to decide if it's going to be 
where we had the problem over on Exeter Road was just how much of it are you going to do? Are you going to do the road or are you going to do the sidewalks? That is a good example of one road that needs sidewalks. It does need so, sidewalks and a lot of the pavement is So is, maybe is it needs to broke up, be yep. broken up into like four pieces because it is a more comprehensive road. It's a road that certainly is a... a the, one of the first roads you drive through. It's a main artery in the town. Yeah, it's a main yeah. artery. Last time that was actually done on the state highway. It was probably, I'm thinking, 73. Yeah, it was yeah. never yeah. done anything to it. Right. The, the, the one road. time they did the, oh, right. they regraded <laughs> but it. But I, I, I can remember it being done. It was right. in the, the I mean, mid-70s. The only thing we've done on that in the last 16 <clears throat> years, I remember what it was now, is mm -hmm. they put that patching that you fill all the... Um, the little cracks in the road yeah, cracks, yeah. and that was a major that actually that was so big that that was a pretty big project mm -hmm. you know uh, and it made a lot of improvements but god that was probably more than 15 years ago so right. Regina's right there Good needs line. to be and I definitely th think that even a bond there will be support for it mm -hmm. Mr. And Chairman you, you do have the money available in the wastewater system development charge for the camera system oh. yeah. So you mm -hmm. can buy it right now if you want to buy it out of that out of that fund. Ooh, mm -hmm. good. Will that draw that fund down? It will draw it down. It's seventy what seventy five thousand dollars. Does that include the purchase that was authorized last week for fifty five? Well, you got two hundred and forty eight. Um, the board's approved expenditures for ninety five, uh, and that includes yeah, last week's. Yeah, and you, you, uh, you got one for seventy five that you need to make. So. Yeah. So do is that would it be to your advantage to have that at this t the soon? How long is it going to take to get it? Once so that more? that I don't have the answer for. So if you were to say let's get it tonight, it's not I like could be told year. it's a twelve week could lead you bring time. Us, you know? Could you bring us back that information? Oh, most definitely. Yeah. So, so we, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Most definitely find yeah. out the lead time, what it would take. Okay. My, my point now, in bringing that up is that you can't really talk about when a current road until you make the decision of whether or not the sewer in Winnicott Road can be lined or it has to be excavated. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Big difference in cost. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've, some of it I have here. I mean, uh, Lafayette Road to Windmill is 8-inch vitrified clay pipe. Then it's a section of PVC from Windmill yep. it's mixed. down to uh, landing. Uh, so the sewer wouldn't necessarily have to be in, uh, replaced there. But then from landing... To presidential and then from presidential to Ocean Boulevard is also vitrified clay. So that's why, you know, it, it's on my, was on this street inventory, a breakdown uh, from years ago on four separate sections. The only way to radically get a project like this done and then one section right after another, a possibility is um, instead of 300000 in the road capital improvement fund, uh, increase it to let's say four or five. Then every two to three years, you're getting in a, Second. you know, closer to a million dollars, and you can bite off a section of the road. I think if people understood that long term, that that's where the the board wanted to go with, you know, the road improvement projects, then that's, you know, they may, in fact, support that. I've heard a number of times from people that said, you know, for years there was no, the, the department never had a plan. But as long as they have a plan that people and under, people understand where that money's going to, then they they support it. So mm -hmm. that would be a possible solution and a possible methodology, rather than a separate or additional warrant article. Yeah. But or you could fund a bond and pay for it over a period of time, which would have the same effect. That's true. It would. Mm -hmm. Only you get it done so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, bring us back all as much information okay. that you can, and this will be another thing that we work on. Um, other people that would like uh, possible warrant articles, Rusty? I don't have any at this time. Mrs. Wolseley? No. And uh, so I think we've exhausted the warrant article um, discussion for this evening, and we're looking forward to all the information that you're going to bring us. All right. Sounds like you're going to be busy. Yes, we will be. <laughs> Thanks for Thank being Thank here you. this evening. Yeah. Thank you. Um, moving on to other new business. Any new business? I just this like is, to, uh, yeah. Mary Louise keeps talking about flooding and pictures and all that. That's exactly what chat, that committee is doing. They're mapping 
They're going through. They're working on all of the areas in town that flood. They, they keep having meetings and talking about the various areas and stuff. So they've done a lot of work on that. And chat, I forget what all the initials are for. I can't remember either. Either. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Coastal has it. But I mean, that's all being done. So it's not mm -hmm. something that's being ignored. Yeah, no, I don't saying. really know how much we can rely on chat though myself. Well, they're I doing agree. a good job. Well, they're they might be doing a good job, but they're not doing the yeah. they're not the only ones that can do a good no, job. No, but they brought thirty five, forty five thousand dollars in for the master plan and grant. Yeah. Well, that they're was pretty an good. advisory commission, and yeah. what happens here does you know they can advise us, and we can take a look at it. I One think if we had, I think if we had the aerial shots after the big flooding events. You could tell but they, from 2017 to 27, they're 2018 doing that. and see what they are doing. Are that. they still taking the yes, pictures? Yes, they're still taking pictures. As a matter of fact, they have a, actually a contest that they do. Yeah, and they're getting I thought, other people in the newspaper. Because I thought that was a great idea, yeah. doing the aerial shots along yeah. the coast. They've got the somebody with, with, a, with a drone that's actually done quite yeah. a bit of that and, so okay. far. You know, you really can, you so we're keeping a file or something on that? Yeah, so and we can, how much really can you learn from a file? Every single event is different. different. And you know, uh, but there are some places, well, Rick, that yeah, flood all the time. And you yeah, can, there are some places that don't flood all the time. There are places that flooded years ago that aren't flood. It's not as bad. I mean, it's very individual. If you lived on the marsh, you would see it every day. Yeah. How it changes. Yeah. And you know, everyone. You know, and I, I, trust me, I'm not saying it doesn't happen. Yeah. But there's. In all these years, I've only had two instances, and yet I have a, a and I'm in an area where it's a big problem. Yeah. Only twice has it been bad, and it was both t times when there were storms out at sea and things like that. And um, you, you know, like the last major event, as far as what I've seen at the beach, and I was talking to people today that lived down there off Ashworth Avenue, and they agreed, um, was in 2018. Last year actually was a very, very good year, one of the better years mm -hmm. from, if you look at it on a week-to-week -week basis, because I have to worry about where my clients are going to park. Mm -hmm. And trust me, it, it's not something that just always happens, and that's part of the problem. You can helicopter them in. Oh, trust me, I get them in one way or the other. <laughs> um, so if I have to get a lifeguard, I will. You could look um, out your window today, though, and see the water coming over the... The wall. Yeah, but it's I, always that I know way. it, but I'm, what I'm saying is there is, yeah. there are problems, and they are being studied. There are patterns. Yeah, there, there are, are patterns. patterns but yeah. let me tell you, the, what comes over the wall today is not as great as it was 20 years ago. Right. Somehow, yeah. it, it just isn't. The, you you you'd have to watch it and and think, oh my God, what's the matter with those people? They're going to get hit by a rock. Right. I haven't seen that in a long time. Right, but people we can't ignore. Yeah. No, you yeah. can't ignore. It, but as long as the person coming up that's, with suggestions and yeah. coming up with ideas, and until we have better leadership up at the top of the federal government, which doesn't ah. acknowledge anything, you know, there are big issues <laughs> here. Um, <laughs> so it's not Three going it all. well. It's uh, nothing's <laughs> happening. So you know, there is an issue that we have to. You know, there's where you get all the funding in that to work with these things. So, other things of new business, Mrs. Wolsey. Yeah, I uh, just want to make a couple of comments <laughs> related to the police department. Um, we have, at last week, in the middle of the week, uh, through the rest of the week, we have uh, construction going on, and the. Um, there's, there are new houses coming in, and they're digging for aquarium and gas and um, whatever the other one is. And it, it was um, I, it was such a horrible racket that I went out and looked at what was going on. There was a nice young officer there, standing right across, and it's pretty close, standing right across the street to make sure the traffic was going, and they were digging the trench right into the middle of the road. And it was a dreadful racket. Poor Fred, I called him, and asked if we could get some kind of earmuffs or, or something to protect. If you're standing at a site like that, it, the noise was terrible, and that officer was right on top of it. In, addi in addition, if we're doing something like that, I would think we would shut the road down. Mm -hmm. But the... The chief is saying, and, and I get where he's coming from, that we're having a problem because they can't get 
uh, officers sometimes they wouldn't be able to get to. Can we rethink the um, school, uh, the school officers? We've, we're tying up three. Okay. Do you want to make a motion officers. to carry this conversation forward? Please make a motion, and we'll see oh, what okay. everyone so wants to talk about. Oh, okay. So we can talk about the school resource officers and the and a shortfall in the police department. Uh, yes, I would like to have that on a future um, agenda. You, well, sometime in the future, but I mean, so you're not wanting to make any type of a motion. No. Well, and I'd like us to be able to discuss it a little bit because it seems to me that it's. It's really straining the police department. Sounds like we're going to really be having a lot on the agenda for the next few weeks. So right. it's not going to happen anytime soon. Okay. Okay. But I think we uh, need to take a look other at Other new business? I just got one thing. So the EPA, you know, they got their budget slashed. Well, they're, um, right now, the past year, they've been working with Israel, which is the leader in water reuse. Mm -hmm. And they are going to be um, hopefully having some ideas on how to reuse water, which is very important, I think. I think the EPA has actually done more in the past five or six years than it's ever done. And they also just secured $4.8 million in funding for new research on managing PFAS compounds in agriculture. So I think that is some great news, and I get all their press releases, and I will keep the board and public informed on all of them. Excellent. And that's all Thank I have. You. Okay, anyone? Do you have anything? Nothing, no. Okay, well, one thing I wanted to mention is um, that uh, the we had a little brief conversation about the rail trail and that bridge um, at Northampton. Yes. Um, do you have any more information about that? No, just that the state is looking uh, in the long run. They have to replace that bridge or they have to take it down. Uh, we have made the suggestion that they take it down. We made the suggestion even before the rail trail uh, and put in some sort of a truck culvert so that something in the order of a one-ton truck could go through there instead of a full-size train. It's called so, a truck culvert? It's a, a truck culvert, yeah. yeah. Uh, and that would keep people off the street. I, I really don't think a crosswalk running across Route yeah. 1 at that location would be a ter terrific yeah. idea. Uh, a culvert that they could walk through, and if you had to do maintenance, you'd get a one-ton truck through would be a good idea. Yeah. And it would save a ton of money. Um, either that or they've got to replace the bridge, yeah. which is a lot of money. Yeah. Well, what, right I now? think that I have the floor What's for right now. Yeah. Um, the one thing that I want to bring up is that somebody from Northampton came to see me, hmm. and um, they are... Uh, working and they said they'd be glad to come and keep us informed with if any progress comes of this but they're working on ideas about their rail trail or whatever but right at this particular spot there seems to be some momentum going to put like a dog park there um, that could be like it <laughs> oh, could yeah, be right, that, yeah. yeah it could be something that could be used both by the town of Hampton and the town of Northampton and maybe anyone else that comes there because I think people take their dogs to places like in Durham and that I hear people talk about it. And people are really have a big thing you know, with their animals today. So um, we, uh, you know, I think this might be something that we should take a look at because a lot of people would like to have a dog park or a place to bring animals. Um, and it's something that like he was talking about would be primarily done with volunteer efforts. Um, but I think more importantly, it's where something that could be d used by m more than one town, you could work on it together and maybe defray any of the cost. So when we do get ready to do something, maybe this is something that we should continue, you know, find out what people that are there and how we could work together to make the cost maybe less or they could be volunteer experts. Rusty? Well, I think, first of all, that, that piece of property where that state shed is there is still... That's a, where they're talking. That's still in Hampton. That's not yeah. Northampton. That's 90% mm. well, of that is in Hampton. Uh, I, you know, it would be nice if they could have put some parking lot in there so you could have access. But we need to wait, find out what they're going to do with the rail trail itself. And I right. agree with Fred. You know, we have, we have to find out what they're going to do with that bridge. I, and I totally agree that, that if they put a, uh, a culvert versus replacing that bridge, they'd much be better off. You would lower that hump on the road so it would be, yet you're not gonna have people trying to cross Route 1. Mm -hmm. uh, but I also, I, I'd like to um, 
can we talk with the state to find out what their their plans are? <laughs> I don't believe they have any fixed plans at the moment. Well, they haven't even done the design work on the rail trail. So can we can we talk to them? And but find we can out? always talk. That's, and that's yeah. what I'm hoping. Can we talk to them and find out? Good luck. Uh, you know, a timeline maybe of what they even. They're what they already have. working on the bridge. I, I know. I know that they, they got a yeah. timeline, but I, I'd like to find out what it is. I've had people asking me, what What's the timeline for that? You know, because there's a lot of things that can happen positive for both towns right. in that area. One is that piece of property. The other one, too, is, is that we, you know, we, we're always going to need, and this is futuristic type of stuff, but we're always going to need parking downtown. We have that property where Omni Building used to be. And, and so, you know, that would make a great town area. Yep. And if you could talk to who owns that <clears throat> and about the development of that, instead of trying to put all apartments and condos in yes. there, why not have why not have a parking area and put some retail merchantile in mm -hmm. there? Yeah. So they'd have area to get to the tracks, they'd have area to get to the walking bay. I think now that the rail trail has come through, now's the time to start talking to people in that area and find out what we can do to make it better. Uh, yeah, and that's exactly what I just brought up of how we could work to make this area, yeah. this road, uh, rail head or whatever they call it, is going to be right there. It's going to be a major. Uh, that's going to be their welcome to town. Sure. And it could be our, you know, we could work on it together. But I, uh, the main reason I'm bringing it up is a lot of people through the years have talked about a dog park. Yes, they have. And it's yes, not something that takes maintenance, and it is the type of thing that people would volunteer for. Mrs. Wolsey. Yeah. What, what bridge are you talking about? The only bridge that I'm thinking of is the one when I drive up Route 1. one. Yes. But the, the highway goes like that. Yes. And so then, what they're saying is put a, instead of a bridge that has 14 foot clearance, yeah. if you put a culvert in there that had maybe 10 foot clearance, it would drop that down so it's done, and they wouldn't have to have a bridge. They could put a culvert in instead. I can't visualize well, it. Mm -hmm. so. it, it, would, it, would be, it would be much better for the road to have a culvert instead of a bridge. It would be much less maintenance. The bridge is very expensive to maintain, and, and, and they would have to replace the bridge. That's probably a $20 million proposition as opposed to a culvert, which may be 500000 to a $1 million. Correct. I mean, the, so. it's all repaved <clears throat> up there. Route 1 looks really Paving nice. Paving is nice. Paving is not what the bridge is, though. I don't know. Yeah. Well, it goes mm -hmm. over the bridge. Yeah. One, of, one of the suggestions... I, I can't picture what you're... Yeah, I understand. One of the suggestions that we made as we were going through the dissertation to get the rail trail, to get ideas put out there, was the piece of property you're talking about, uh, that there is no laboratory along this whole section um. of the rail trail. That shed that's there, which is owned by State DOT, we suggested that they put parking in there on one side, the other side could be used as a dog park, and that, they, a restroom. and that they put a restroom in there for people who are using the rail trail because yeah. there's nothing along the whole trail. Yeah, and they need to have that's something that needs to be addressed. People say, Oh, yeah, they'll use the ones in the bathroom. Trust me, you got a lot. I get so many people asked to use my bathroom, and no, it'd be nice to have you a hate to say no, but it's, it's awful when they're there that far up on the, on the rail trail, you're, you've got no place to go. Going in the woods is not an option because you've got businesses all around there, but well, they don't want you in the business option. either. So, and I think once once the rail trail starts to get used, you'll have actually even more area opened up from those businesses. Oh yes, so I, I think you're going to see people using the backside of their business on the rail trail oh, to yeah. promote other types of businesses, whether yeah. it's a it's going to be a real money maker. Room. It, it's it's going to be nice for this town. Yeah. I don't know why you're not advocating for a cat park too. <laughs> well, you could bring a cat. I'm sure. So, do we have a motion for motion to adjourn at yeah nine oh six twenty one oh one second whatever sure. all those in favor yeah. unanimous <laughs> thank you thank you channel twenty one you too.